Hi, Dr. Jin Sung here, and welcome back to Thyroid Management Success Secrets number 16. PCOS, or Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome. There have been many studies that show that PCOS, or Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome, can trigger Hashimoto's disease. PCOS is a common female hormone disorder, and it affects 5 to 10 percent of the menstruating women, and is one of the most common causes of infertility. PCOS symptoms include the inability to lose weight, hair loss, fatigue after meals, hormone imbalances, and sugar cravings. Now, do these symptoms sound familiar to you? They sound like a thyroid patient, don't they? Using blood chemistry tests, PCOS can be identified by insulin resistance. Again, insulin resistance is blood sugar or blood glucose levels from 100 to 126. This is a fasting blood glucose level. PCOS is indicated by elevated triglycerides and cholesterol, especially if the triglycerides are higher than the cholesterol levels. Insulin resistance is a condition in which the body's cells become resistant to insulin due to a high carbohydrate diet or a high sugar diet, which leads to excess testosterone production. This leads to polycystic ovarian syndrome. As testosterone levels rise, the cells become more resistant to insulin and it's a slow downward spiral. Cell resistance to insulin in turn promotes testosterone levels to elevate, which continues that downward spiral. Insulin, resistant, insulin resistance also promotes inflammation and immune system problems, which predisposes the person to an autoimmune disease. If you factor in all of this with Hashimoto's, and now you can see why it is so important to address polycystic ovarian syndrome when you have a thyroid condition. Again, my name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results.